Okay, when completing the review, I'm going to make sure that I show you how to do everything by hand. But remember, when it comes time for the test, that you really should be checking everything in your calculator. So I'm going to do the same thing as well. So which is true of the parabola? So the function has one zero, which means x-intercept, at negative three. So I can look here and see that this does not have any x-intercepts. Has one zero, or x-intercept at nine, no has no zeros, that is true. It does not have any x-intercepts. All right, a table of values for the quadratic function is shown. State all of the solutions to where it equals zero. So I can see on the table that it equals zero right here and that it equals zero right here. So negative two and three. Make sure that you're checking for two solutions anytime you're trying to find the solutions. All right, if one is a solution to where it equals 12, what is the value of the other solution? So they're telling us that one is one of the solutions and we need to find the other one. So you do your rainbow. Zero goes with zero, two goes with two, six with six, so 12 would go with 12. And then I need to go backwards, negative three, negative four, negative five, so this would be negative six. Make sure you pay attention to how the table is changing. Here it's only changing by ones, but it could be changing by twos. State all of the solutions to where it equals 17. So again, I can see that it equals 17 right here. So one has to be one of the answers, so it's not A. And then let's see if it has a pair. Two with two, five with five, 10 would go with 10, 17 would go with 17. So then going backwards, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. So my solutions are negative 7 and 1. What are the x-intercepts of the graph? So they didn't give me a graph, so I'm going to plug it in my calculator. 4x squared plus 2x minus 6. And I can see that one of them is at 1, and the other one is at a negative number. Now, it looks like it's right there between, so I'm going to guess that it's 1 and negative 3 halves. But really, if it's asking for an x-intercept, it's asking where it equals 0. So I could do this on my calculate screen. Menu, 3, 3, 2, 4x squared plus 2x minus 6. Don't forget your comma x, and the solutions are negative 3 halves and 1. All right, what is true of the solutions to the graph when it equals 0? So equals 0 is that x intercepts. So here's 1 at negative 1, and here's 1 at 6. So both of them are positive? No. The solution is the y intercept? No. The solution is the vertex? No. One solution is positive and one solution is negative. Correct. Which statement about this is true? Okay, so it's asking us to factor. So my first term is 3x squared. My last term is negative 15. So I multiply across to get negative 45. And it needs to add to give me 4. So I'm looking for factors of negative 45, which is going to be 9 and negative 5. Those add to give you 4. So 9x, negative 5x. Okay, both of these just have an x in common. Both of those can divide by 3 and x. Both of those can divide by negative 5. Both of those can divide by 3. So my factors are x plus 3 and 3x minus 5. Okay, so it's not c and it's not b. Now to find my solutions, I'm going to do it in my calculate screen. Menu 3, 3, 2, 3x squared plus 4x minus 15. And we're looking for the zeros. 
So the zeros are at negative 3 and a positive 5 thirds, which I could have found by taking each of these and setting them equal to 0. So my solutions are positive 5 thirds and a negative 3, and my factors are 3x minus 5 and x plus 3. So that is your answer. Solve by any method. So if you ask me, the easiest method is the calculator. Menu 332, 2x squared plus 6x minus 36, comma x. And my solutions are negative 6 and 3. But I know you don't have calculators at home. So if I'm doing this by hand, I'm going to do factoring. So first I'm going to take out that GCF of 2. So we get x squared plus 3x minus 18. Then I can put it in the box. So x squared minus 18. So you need the factors of negative 18 that add up to give you 3. So it would be 6 and negative 3, 6x, negative 3x, this breaks into x and x, this would be 6, this would be negative 3. So my factors are x plus 6 and x minus 3. So that's my factored form. So then you take each factor and set it equal to 0. So x plus 6 equals 0 x minus 3 equals 0. To get rid of the plus 6, you would subtract 6 from both sides, so x equals negative 6. To get rid of the minus 3, you add 3 to both sides, so x equals 3. And there's your two solutions. So which equations has solutions of x equals 4 and x equals negative 2.5? If you'll notice, this factor was x plus 6 and it was negative 6. This was an x minus 3 and it was a positive 3. Your x is a liar. So with this one right here, we know it has to be x minus 4 as one of the factors. This has an x minus 4. This does not. This does not. And this does not. It has to be this one. Also, how we get this answer, let's take this factor, this 2x plus 5, and set it equal to 0. So minus 5 minus 5. 2x equals negative 5, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals negative 2.5. And yes, that is the other solution. Which equation is equivalent? Anytime you see equivalent, you should be checking in your calculator. So I'm typing in negative parentheses x minus 4 squared plus 6. And I need it to be the same. Because there's a negative out front, I'm going to guess that it's one of these three negatives. So I'm just going to start at this one. Negative x squared minus 8x minus 10. Nope, not the same. Menu 3, 1. Negative x squared plus 8x plus 22. Nope, not the same. Menu 3, 1, negative x squared plus 8x minus 10. Yep, exactly the same. If I was to do it by hand, this means negative x minus 4, x minus 4 plus 6. So you're using the box. On one side, you have x minus 4. If I distribute this negative, it becomes negative x plus 4. And then you also have the plus 6 at the end. x times x gives you a negative x squared. Negative and a negative is a positive 4x. Positive 4x and then a negative 16. You add these and you can also combine these. So we get negative x squared as your first term. 4x and 4x is 8x. Negative 16 plus 6 is a negative 10. Which equation could represent the graph? Easiest way, plug these in the calculator. So I'm going to clear these all out. Menu 3, 1. x squared plus 5x 
minus 6. Okay, that's not cr crossing at negative 1 and 6, so that's not it. Menu 3, 1, negative parentheses, x plus 2, close parentheses, squared, minus 11. Nope, I don't even see that one on there. Menu 3, 1, x plus 1, parentheses, x minus 6. That crosses at negative 1 and positive 6. All of these, no. The only one that matched was B. But that's why you have to check all of your answer choices, is because it could have been all of them. Okay, what are the values of x when this equals 15? I always recommend using your polysolve, but to use it has to be equal to 0. So minus 15, minus 15. So our standard form is x squared plus 3x. A negative 3 and a negative 15 is a negative 18 equals 0. So now we can use our poly tools. Menu 332. And did you know that if you're using the 332, you can type it in exactly like you see. x squared plus 3x minus 3 minus 15. Just in case you struggle with addition or subtraction, you don't even have to combine those two terms. So our answers are negative 6 and 3. Okay, solve this using any method. Again, when I have the choice, I'm going to use my calculator. It is equal to 0, so menu 332. x squared plus 18x plus 81, comma x. So my answer is just negative 9 and negative 9. That's the exact same number. It's only negative 9. For this function, which one matches the graph? So same thing. I'm going to go to my graph and type them in and see which one crosses at 2 and 4, which one looks the same. So x squared minus 6x plus 8. That crosses at 2 and 4. That one looks good. Okay, delete. Menu 3, 1. X minus 3, close parentheses, squared, minus 1. That crosses at 2 and 4. That looks good. Delete. Menu 3, 1. X minus 2, parentheses, x minus 4, oops, that crosses at 2 and 4, they are all the correct graph. Like you said, on that last one, you've got to check every single one of them because it could be all of the above. Which values of x are a solution? It's already equal to 0, so let's do it in our poly tools. Menu 332, 4x squared minus 5x minus 9, comma x, a negative 1, and 9 fourths. So the only one, which one is a solution? So they don't have both of them, they only have the 9 fourths. All right, so the graph is shown. How are the solutions equal to 0 related to the graph? When it equals 0, you go on the y to 0, and the solutions are going to be your x-intercepts. So there's one solution, no. Three solutions, no. One solution, no. Two solutions, and they're the x-intercepts, yes. convert this to standard form. So this is like the box we did above, but you can always check it in your calculator using your graph. We're going to type in the original, negative 3, parentheses, x minus 6, close parentheses, squared, minus 10. I don't see it, but if I click menu, trace, graph trace, it'll jump up so I can at least see it a little bit. Menu 3, 1, now we're going to type in 3x squared, plus 15x minus 27. 
Nope, not exactly the same. Menu 3, 1. 3x squared minus 36x plus 98. Nope, not the same. Menu 3, 1. Negative 3x squared plus 36x minus 118. That one was exactly the same. Let's just double check this last one. Menu 3, 1, negative 3, parentheses x minus 6, squared minus 10. So that one is the same, but wait, it's the exact same equation. So this one is not in standard form. This is still in vertex form. All right, what is the negative root of this equation? So negative root is when it equals zero. Anytime it's a root, it's when it equals zero. So I'm going to go to poly tools, menu 332, 2x squared plus 4x minus 16. And my solutions are negative 4 and 2. But it only wants the negative number, and the negative number is the negative 4. What is the domain of this function? So let's look at the graph because it gave me an equation. 9 minus 2x squared. Okay, so domain is dealer, which is left to right. Doctor xy tells me domain is my x values. So right away I can get rid of a because that's talking about y values. So if I'm looking at this, it doesn't stop at 2 and go on. It doesn't go from negative 10 to positive 10. If I look at my table, I can keep going no matter what number I want to. So it's all real numbers. Okay, solve by factoring, but on your test, you don't have to. So menu 3, 3, 2, it's already equal to 0. 2x squared minus x minus 3. Don't forget the comma x and it's negative one and three halves.